Hi guys, uh, the YouTube video is this week going to be a little bit lighter than usual. I'm just going to answer a question that has been asked on the Discord group by Patit. I'm going to answer your question because like I'm currently working on side projects and I'm currently creating a new online course with like 15 hours of video recorded on which you can learn all the different steps. But just before to start, I just want to offer you for anyone who starts coding because I noticed that there is like a lot of beginners. Um, Python programming starter pack where I'm going to offer you like some cheat sheets, some my six best tips, uh, what are the best books in order to start with Python and uh, an entire volume of two Python notebook in order to start with Python. But yeah, just before to start this video, I just want to thank Spatit for this question. And in this video, we're going to explore how you can get the entire SMP or the entire CAC 40 or NSE stock data within just a few lines of code and let the program run for you. In order, let's say if you want to run an algorithm over 500 stocks, you can just apply the algorithm over 500 stocks. I hope you will enjoy this video and see you in the introduction. Hi guys, just before starting, I just want to remind you that I created for you a Python beginner starter pack that's composed by different cheat sheet to Python notebook, a step-by-step -step guide on how you can set up your computer on Anaconda and some ebooks on what are the my favorite books plus how to start with Python. See you in the video. The goal of this video is going to be to download the whole stock data in one shot. For instance, that's going to be useful if you want to implement your moving average on the entire stock exchange. Let's say if you want to have the entire SP500 uh, being screened through the moving average. If you want to put your signals when any of this stock is hitting, let's say the lower band of your Bollinger band, I highly recommend you to understand what is the Bollinger band through the video uh, on my YouTube channel. Or if you want to implement Ishimoku Kinkoyo for the entire US stock exchange, that's something that you can do if you are able to, to download the entire US stock exchange in one line of code. Okay, this video is going to be divided into three parts. In the first part, we are going to start by importing our packages, like the basic packages, you will see there is nothing complex. In the second part, I'm going to show you a technique in order to fill in the list of stocks. That's not something that is currently widespread because there is like, I don't find like the right API, which is going to give you the entire stock exchange data, except Bloomberg, but that's super expensive and we're not here to go um, on something uh, as much high level, but if you want me to put to create a video about Bloomberg, that's something that I can do. And then we are going to implement this data and I will show you uh, what you have to do at the end uh, and how the data gonna looks like. Okay guys, let's go. So first step, the um, only package that we are going to need gonna be Pandas, NumPy, and Yahoo Finance to import the data. Um, essentially, like in order to go and to reach this goal, you have three different alternatives. The first alternative in order to get our data is to use an API. But the point with the API, you don't have, you don't have, let's say, the Indian Stock Exchange. You don't have the CAC 40 on different APIs. Uh, you mainly have the US Stock Exchange. That's why I would not use the API. Second option is to use Beautiful Soup in order to scrap uh, the different components of each one of the Stock Exchange. And the last solution is what we are going to do. We are just going to use Pandas and scrap the web. Uh, by the way, I, create you, I created you a um, cheat sheet that you can download with like the starter pack just below. I created a loop, um, a link in order for you to get the Python starter pack and then something that you can just download. And I explain you like step by step on how you can select any table. Uh, in this example, that Wikipedia, but you can go on any link online and you can download the data by using pandas. Okay, so the solution that we are going to use is pandas scrapping in order to get this data. So um, the first thing on how does that going to work? Let me just introduce you to the data model that we are going to use. Up. Up. Yes, uh, I'm writing an article on Medium that you can that you're gonna be able to read with like much 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 more information about the code and about the process. So, uh, first thing that we are going to do: import libraries, as we have seen just right now. The library is gonna be pandas, numpy, and yahoo finance. 
after that we're gonna have to s uh, scrap stock exchange information like mainly what we what we need to do is to get all the stocks names uh, in order to pass it through your finance and at the end we are going to make like a quick uh, live test um, if what we have done is working or not and what is the lag that we have with the market because that's a component that can be interesting uh, yes, three points that we are going to judge our model is computing speed, lag with the market, and the result accuracy, if we are following the market or not. Okay, uh, let's start by, first of all, what we have seen in the model is we need to scrap stock information. What we are going to do, we are going to import the list of SP500 companies. What you, are going, what you can type is just like list SP500 companies just go on the first link and we are going to use pandas in order to scrap this table again if you use the cheat sheet which uh, you can download is the python starter pack and gi i'm giving you like different example on how to use pandas in order to first of all read excel and csv file but that's something which is very straightforward but after that how to read the web and html data um yes take what we have here let's just take the line of code that we have in our cheat sheet okay up and let's insert this data in the data frame that we are going to call data data equal up and the only thing that we are going to do we are going to scrap the data from the us stock exchange i'm just copy and pasting the link that we have for the sp500 and when we do that Mm. okay we haven't uh, imported the packages up oh, now must be good let's run okay now let's take a look at our data how does that looks like okay now what what you can see you have like all the different tables that you have on wikipedia for instance here we have this first table uh, very very long table here we have like a second table with the dates uh, added uh, the name of why and the reason and all this table now we have them on our jupyter notebook here's the first table here's the second table here's the third table with the number of rows and the numbers of variables but which table do we have we just want the first table so what we are going to do we are just going to put between parentheses zero and execute and now we have the first table. We have the table which interests us, is this one. And the column that we want to pass within Yahoo Finance API is this column. It's a column called symbol. So what we are going to do, we are just going to specify symbol. You have different solutions. Either within this table, you type up symbol and execute you have all the symbol otherwise we want the symbol within a list because um, what we're going to do in the last step is to store this data thanks to your finance we are going to tap yf dot download up. and if you look at the api and if you look in the documentation you will see like either you can bring one ticker or a list of tickers, but here what we have, we don't have a list. So what we're gonna have, what we're gonna need to do right here is just to add like one extra column and convert this variable data as a symbol. What we are going to do, we are just going to type data.list and we're gonna get it up. Now we have all the symbols from the SP500 within a list. And this list of symbol, we are going to pass this list of symbol within a variable that we can call sp equal data to list up we have like all the and if we take a look at the variable sp we see that you have a list and that's a list you can recognize a list because you have a square bracket you have a list with all the ticker of the sp 500 and what we are going to do here we are going because in the other video we have seen that you can download the tickers one by one and w but here in this example we are going to use another function of your finances because instead of having a loop which is going to take each ticker one by one we can just pass this list we can do that and again that for other for the other components you can just like 
use whatever you can use a start and end date you can use uh, interval and period i prefer to use interval of per and period but you can use whatever you want so let's type Perfect. Let's type period equal seven days and interval equal one day. Okay. Let's execute and let's take a look at the data at the end. Okay. You will see like um, the time needed gonna depend of two factors. First of all, the power of your computer and second the um, speed of your internet connection me i'm currently now at the moment in london and the connection speed is quite good and i'm using a macbook pro with m1 chip which means like the computation speed is quite good as well so um, as you can see here what we got we got a um, multi-dimensional data frame we got a first one where we're gonna have like all the different indicators adjunct close volume close open price etc and the second one where we're gonna have for each one of this of these variables we're gonna have all the different stocks and here as an index we have the date and for instance if you want your information let's say you want the open price open price for let's say okay let's focus just on the open price here i have all the open price if you want for instance to focus on the closing price here you have all the closing price and for instance if you want the closing price for apple what we are going to do we are going just going to tap a a p l oh sorry it's not square bracket let me correct that up and now you have your data for Apple. You have all the data that you, that you want for Apple. Here, that's the closing price. If you want the volume uh, traded, you can do that as well. Perfect, now you have all the volume traded for Apple on a daily basis. And yeah, but if you take a look at the data at the end of how does that looks like, that must look like something this way. And now, for instance, if you want to add or if you want to filter your data or let's say if you want to filter your data just for all the stocks that which are like above a certain point or all the stocks which are hitting a certain limit you can definitely do it because now we have the entire stock exchange and now the second part of this question is how can i download the data let's say for the cac 40 or the us stock exchange let's say you type list cac 40 companies what you're gonna have you're gonna have all the CAC 40 companies plus the ticker as you can see here we are we don't have uh, it's not Wikipedia but it's just for me also to show you an example that you are not mandatory to use Wikipedia here what you are going to do we are going to up we are going to just restart the process and we are going first of all to take a look on how to get the data up let's run it up as you can see here we have only one table which means that what you can do you can just specify zero execute okay and and which data does that gonna interest us is the ticker and now what you're gonna have to do is just like specify ticker up Perfect. Here we have our ticker. We are going to do it as a list. We have the list of ticker. Up, execute. EO Finance. Up. Some of the um, ticker from the CAC 40 are not present in EO Finance, but overall now we have all the data for the French stock exchange. Similarly, you can do it for the Indian stock exchange. That's exactly the same. Up. Indian stock exchange up. You can just go on any website which is going to give you the information. Okay, not this one because it's not like super clean. Yeah, otherwise, let's type 
uh, Indian Stock Exchange listed company ticker that's gonna be better because you don't have like direct user ticker up just type up let's go talk mm, talk that's the website okay this one looks good we have the symbol okay perfect okay yes okay what we are going to do we are just going to take uh, the URL of this page we just copied the URL up past it here check uh, where the table which interests us okay taking a little bit of time okay something happened let's directly pick the first table okay here we just like scrapped the data from the website which was this one and we just like picked this first table okay up now we have the table with the symbols and the only thing that you have to do just like fill it in a list and download it using your finance and now you have a way on how to, you can download the entire uh, stock exchange data in just few lines of code again uh, i just want to recommend you you can just like download the the jupyter notebook uh, this jupyter notebook uh, within the python starter pack and also you can also download this jupyter notebook by using uh, the link below on how you can download your jupyter notebook so guys if you have any questions just feel free again like it's a pleasure to um, help people in the discord group if you have any question about algorithmic trading just feel free to join the discord group um, that's very fun we are talking sometimes um, i really enjoying speaking with you having a chat with you and just feel free to join whenever you want to join and yeah just like if you are a beginner i just like you can just like subscribe to this uh, python software park that's completely free i'm just giving you like i just like create like some of my best articles within uh, ebooks that you can read and that's something like that i would love to have like a few years ago and something that you can use yeah the goal is to make like everyone start with algorithmic trading and to start with trading that's gonna be something which can be very cool because that's a field which is very like i believe from from my perspective is the most funniest funniest field in terms of data science okay guys see you